Yo, 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 welcome back to the Volpro Scooters. My name is Austin, and today we are here for another episode of What's New in Scootering. If you guys don't know, this is the series where I go over the latest, greatest, and recently released parts here in the scooter world. So, strap in, today's gonna be a good episode. today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at all the new Elite Supreme V3 decks, all the new North product, including decks, wheels, forks, bars, and then we're gonna carry on and take a look at some new wheels from Fusion and finish it up with some new recently dropped Vault merch. So, put your headphones on, grab your popcorn, call your mom. This is gonna be a good episode, I'm really excited. Alrighty, so the Elite Supreme V3 deck recently dropped for the only shop in the US that has these decks. We bought them direct, had them shipped from the factory, it was very expensive, but either way, they're here, and I'm very hyped. And there's actually three different models of this deck. And by models, I mean sizes. You have 4.8 inches wide, 5 inches wide, and 5.5 inches wide. The only main difference between the three is the 4.8 is boxed, and the 5.5 and the 5 aren't. So. Other than that, the rest of the specs are pretty much the same, it's just a smaller deck. So, in front of me, I have one of the 5.5s, but I also have one of the 4.8s, and as you guys can see, it is not boxed, it has angle dropouts. But other than that, it's the exact same deck, so for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna keep these both here, but just know the 5 wide and the 5.5 have square dropouts, and the 4.8 doesn't. That's pretty much it. Alrighty, so let's talk specs for the 4.8 inch Elite Supreme V3 deck. This guy is 4.8 inches wide by 20.6 inches long. Foot space wise, you're looking at 14.6 inches of rideable foot space. So from head tube to brake, you're looking at 14.6, which is actually a fairly large amount for a deck of this size. It can only fit an eight millimeter axle, so that means you cannot ride 12 standard wheels on this deck. However, you can ride 24 millimeter wide wheels and 30 millimeter wide wheels because the deck comes with spacers for both sizes in the box, so you're good. So if you wanna ride 30 wide wheels, you're good. If you wanna ride 24 millimeter wide wheels, you're good. As far as brakes go, you have this elite flex fender here with uh, two top mounting bolts, so you can pretty much ride any flex fender on the market that mounts here on the top. You could probably put a fender on this deck as well, no problem. Moving on, if we take a look at this very beautiful forged head tube, which I believe was designed by Jeremy G Design, and I say that because this this logo right here, this G, you, you catching that right there? That G? That's uh, Jeremy G Design. If you guys don't know who that is, I'll put a link down below or put it on the screen. Jeremy G Design on Instagram. This man is very talented, but he designed this beautiful head tube here that ties into the way uh, elite head tubes have looked in the past, but he gave it a nice modern update and it really fits with the times. So, shout out to you. On the head tube, you can see it says elite here stamped into the aluminum very, very nicely. Obviously, you are not gonna mistake this deck for any other brands because it says Elite right there. It says Elite right there, very nicely. Forgot to mention wheel size. Obviously, you can ride 30 wide wheels, but you can also ride anything up to 120 millimeters. You cannot ride anything more than 120 millimeters, so you're pretty much stuck at no bigger than 120 by 30. So make sure you guys keep that in mind when purchasing this deck or if you already have this deck, looking to buy some wheels, don't go any bigger than 30 wide by 120 you should be good. If you take a look at the head tube, there's a very large head tube cutout here. Not only does this reduce weight, it actually makes your scooter look way cooler because when you put stickers on your fork and you spin the bar, you see it through the head tube. See what I mean, Jelly Bean? It's pretty sweet. I mentioned weight, this deck is fairly light. As you can see, there was a lot of weight saving methods used. There's a giant cutout here on the bottom of the deck where you can see it says Elite. It says Elite V3 in Elite V3. Like, the Elite V3 is made out of it saying Elite V3 over and over again. You catching that? It's pretty cool. It says Elite V3 just over and over again while largely saying Elite V3. So all these weight saving methods allows the 4.8 Elite Supreme V3 deck to weigh an amazing and astonishing 3.09 pounds. So just over three pounds, which is light. Holding it here, it's light. It's not pandemonium light. If you guys are looking to purchase a fairly light park deck designed by Jeremy G Design that you can only buy from us in the US that comes in beautiful colors, such as this aqua. I highly recommend you guys pick up one of these bad boys right here. Speaking about color, this deck does come in a bunch of other colors, but the rest of the decks come in the same colors. So once I go through those, I'll show you the rest of the colors. 
All right, after a quick adjustment, our filmer is now sitting on a chair because the stool that he was sitting on was killing his back. So now we're dialed in with the chair. So if you guys see a slight difference in angles, don't worry about it. It looks way better this way anyways. All right, moving on to the Elite Supreme V3 deck, but now we're gonna be taking a look at the five wide variant. Dude, there's bars and decks everywhere. All right, we're back. Okay, so the only difference now between the five wide and the five five, like I mentioned earlier, is the 4.8 is boxed and the five and the five five are not. So everything that I mentioned as far as weight saving methods, the way the head tube looks, who designed it, brake bolts, wheel compatibility, all of that is the same throughout all of these decks. The only difference is gonna be the size. And now moving forward, the five and the five five have normal welded dropouts. Taking a look at the five wide variant here, you can see the welded dropouts here. So it's not angled, it's squared all the way down, which makes locking into grinds like 5.0s, 50s, feebles, just a lot easier because you have more surface to actually put on the coping or rail. Uh, the way Elite decided to do the dropouts was actually welding them on around the deck, just like tilt decks and some of the new Aztec ones. Uh, this method is obviously proved to be a lot stronger than putting in aluminum ones that can slide in and out. So that's what Elite went with. But you can see that they definitely look like they're gonna be strong. They don't look like they're gonna be breaking off anytime soon. And it's cool if you look on this side, it's actually shaped like a nut. So when you put your axle through this side and you put the nut in this side, it's gonna hold the nut all by itself. It's not like there's something in the dropout that holds it. The dropout itself is cut out to be the shape of a nut. So what this means is you're not gonna have any trouble tightening up your wheel and you will only need one tool to do it since the dropout holds the nut on its own. So I like to see that more decks are coming with this uh, method. Like I said, other than that, everything else is the same. The five wide variant comes five inches wide by either 21.5 inches long or 22.5 inches long. So you can find the desired dimension for you. If you like a little bit longer, you can go with the 22.5. If you want a little bit shorter, you can go with the 21.5 but uh, it's nice to see the, uh, the option. And uh, I am holding the pink colorway. We'll show you the rest of the colorways in just a sec because we have one more size to go through. But before I go, let's talk about weight. The 4.8 variant weighed just over three pounds. The five wide variant with the dropouts weighs 3.2 pounds, which is not a lot of weight gained for how much material is here now. So what that means is this is a fairly light street deck. And if you're in the market for one, Definitely recommend you guys check this one out. Last but not least, the Big Daddy. That's what they used to call me in high school. They didn't. All right, so moving on to the 5.5 variant. This guy comes 5.5 inches wide by 22.6 inches long. This one does not come in any other lengths like the five wide. So you only have the option for 5.5 by 22.6, but I think those are pretty good dimensions. I don't think you wanna go any shorter on a deck this wide and uh, it's definitely gonna create a very comfortable riding experience. You're not gonna feel like the deck is too long or too short. Um, anybody that's riding a 5.5 inch wide deck is probably already riding something similar in length, so should be pretty good. Other than that, everything else is the same, specs and stuff like that. The only difference is obviously gonna be the weight. The 5.5 variant of the Elite Supreme deck comes in at 3.7 pounds. So obviously as we move up in size, we're gaining more material, which means we're gonna gain a little bit of weight but this deck is still under four pounds. And as far as a lot of other decks that are on the market of this size, this one is definitely one of the lightest, which is really cool to see. So I mentioned color. Now let's take a look at all of the colors before we move on to a different product. In my hands is the translucent blue colorway. It's a really, really nice deep blue. And you can see slightly through to the welds and stuff, which is pretty cool. This is what the bottom looks like. This is the aqua colorway. This is the matte pink colorway. If you guys haven't already seen the Playboy edition custom build that we did with Mia, she used this deck and if you guys haven't seen it, the card's right there, you should definitely watch it. Really good video. But if you guys are a fan of pink, very, very little pink decks and scootering. So you guys should definitely get this one. Here we have the matte black colorway. Very sleek. And finally, we have the fingerprint magnet himself. Chrome. This thing is chrome. Like this is Root Industries, mere chrome. Like I'm staring. Are you guys staring into yourself? This thing is an absolute mirror. It's a fingerprint magnet, but it looks pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie to you. This thing is sick. This is like hot rod, chrome. Put this with some red and yellow parts. You can make a pretty sweet looking scooter if I say so myself. But this is the final colorway. All the other ones are pretty sweet as well. If you guys are interested in any of the Elite Supreme V3 decks, link is down below. Pretty sweet, pretty affordable. Only shop in the US, get one before they're gone.
Oh, you thought we were done with Elite Supreme decks? No, 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 no. We're done with the normal Elite Supreme decks. We are gonna be moving on to the signature Elite Supreme V3 decks. The first one on the list that we're gonna be taking a look at is no other than our boy, Booter Sprad, Scooter Brad, Finna SB. This is his signature Elite Supreme deck, and uh, it's pretty sweet as well. So, as far as specs goes, this deck is the same as the 5.5 variant. So it's 5.5 inches wide at 22.6 inches long, weighs 3.7 pounds, can fit 30 wide by 120 millimeter wheels, and is pretty dang sweet, except this one has his signature colorway and graphic, so let's take a look. Color-wise, this is like brushed aluminum. It's not raw. Taking a look here at the back of the deck, it says Scooter Brad in this really cool font. So you know it's his signature deck. And finally, Taking a look at the bottom is really where this deck comes to life. I don't know what any of it means. Probably should have done my homework and called him up and asked him, but I didn't because I didn't think that far ahead. But here we are. So let's break down the graphic. I see an anchor. Yeah, I see an anchor here and I see chains. I think the chains tie into the anchor. Uh, I know Scooter Bad himself lived on a boat for a big portion of his life. I know his family was very boat and ocean orientated, so I know that this probably ties into his childhood and living on the water, which is pretty sweet. There's some water here and some sparkles here, which could be coming either from the water sparkling or maybe it's a starry night and the stars are reflecting off the water, whatever one it is. It's pretty much up to you if you wanna see sparkles in the water, there you go. If you wanna see stars at night, there you go. Towards the top of the deck here, you have a compass with uh, SB in it, which is obviously tying into his name. And finally, here in the middle, you have the skull and crossbones saying six bones, indicating not only for the buried treasure, like a pirate would be, but obviously six bones is Scooter Brad's rap name. Check him out on SoundCloud. He actually makes pretty good music. You guys probably don't know that or believe me, but his music is actually pretty good. Check out Six Bones. But that right there is what that ties into. That right there is a breakdown of the Scooter Brad Signature Elite Supreme V3 deck. If you guys are interested in buying one, the link for this one will be down below. And make sure you show Scooter Brad some love. Moving on to the last of the Elite Supreme decks for today's video. This is the Pole Roman or Roman. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. I really don't know which one it is. But this is the Pole Signature deck. And this is the same deck as Scooter Brad's deck and the 5.5 deck. So it's 5.5 by 22.6 and all the rest of the specs are the exact same. However, this one does come in his own signature color and graphic as well. Paul ended up deciding on two colors. The first one is this matte black, which I think it was a good option. It's a very good selling colorway. It's probably the most popular colorway for a deck, so it's a safe move for a signature deck. And moving on to the back, just like Scooter Brad's, you can see his name here in the yellow cursive font, which is a very, very nice touch. Yellow pops very loud and it looks really good on black. If we take a look at the bottom here, you can see that he decided to put his entire signature graphic inside of the cutout except for these little two spots up here, which I think is a good move just because if you ride the deck, the graphic that is here is pretty much gonna get torn away as you grind on the bottom. But for the people who want to hang up a deck because some people wanna hang these decks up because they are pieces of art and decks that have graphics all the way through are perfect art pieces. But if you plan to ride it, just know that it's probably gonna tear off. But for this one, Paul decided to go with his own signature graphic here, etched in yellow as well, which I think is honestly such a great touch. It really pops. And I don't exactly know what his graphic is exactly. I'd imagine it has ties into his scooter career, how it happened, how he came up, his childhood, stuff like that, just because it's a pretty normal thing to do with a sick graphic. And I don't know him personally, so I don't want to offend him or do anything like that by trying to make out what this graphic is. But from a naked eye, it looks absolutely sweet and I absolutely love the yellow on black. So shout out to you, Paul. And if you guys have not seen his Elite Signature Deck promo, it dropped about a month ago on Elite Scooter's YouTube channel. Check that link down below. It is an absolutely insane deck promo because he is insane and you guys should definitely be up to date with his writing because he's one of the best writers out there, honestly. So this is the first colorway in Pull Signature Deck, and here's the second. So it is pretty much the complete opposite. Instead of black on yellow, you have yellow on black. And just like pink, there is not a lot of yellow decks on the market. So I think this was another good move because there's a lot of people out there that wanna ride yellow decks. Uh, for a while, I was riding a yellow deck and I got a lot of kids asking where they could get one or how I painted it, so. Now there is a pretty sweet option for riders out there that wanna ride a yellow deck that is up to date size wise. Being 5.5 five by 22.6 is a great size for a lot of street riders. And uh, if you want yellow, this is the one for you. It's the exact same graphic, just etched in black now on top of the yellow. Same thing here on the bottom. I think you can make out the graphic a little bit more 
on the yellow deck because it's not as hard to see. And uh, there's a lot going on here. Cats and UFOs and soccer balls and birds. This dude lives a pretty sweet life and I think he just displayed all of the aspects of his life that he really likes on this deck and uh, it looks pretty sweet. So that's gonna be it for Elite products. Let's move on to uh, the new North decks. So this right here is the latest and greatest deck for North scooters. Moving on from the Horizon deck, this right here is the North Willow deck. So the North Willow deck came out, honestly, I don't know when it officially came out. We got ours like yesterday, but I know it hasn't been out for too long and uh, I haven't really seen them talking about it. I haven't seen anybody really marketing this deck, so I'm really happy to be talking about it today. North has been pumping out a lot and a lot of product. They've been doing releases every few months and pushing out new SIG decks and new SIG wheels, so I'm pretty hyped to see that. They are rewarding their riders and just continuing to bring out new product to uh, keep the scooter industry hungry. So, the Willow deck is no different. This guy has a lot of differences compared to the Horizon deck and it is fairly affordable compared to a lot of their other decks. Let's talk about specs. The Willow deck is six inches wide and you can choose between 21.5 or 22.5 inches long. It is obviously made from aluminum. It has an 83.5 degree head tube angle and does come with spacers. So you can ride anywhere between 120 by 24 millimeter wheels or 120 by 30 millimeter wheels straight out of the box. You're good to go. It comes with it just like the Elite deck. You have your standard North Flex Fender here. Pretty much acts as a fender, but if you push it hard enough, it will touch your wheel just like a brake. You can obviously throw on any sort of Chetty Fender or Trinity Fender. Uh, you can even throw on one of North Fenders if you want but it does just have the two top mounting bolts, just like most decks nowadays. So you can pretty much ride any fender of your choice because they all mount on the top anyways. The dropouts on the back end of this deck are just like the Horizon. So they're these really, really nice CNC'd aluminum pieces that clip in perfectly. And once you grind one side down, you can actually take this guy out and flip it and put it on the other side. So you start grinding down the other side, which pretty much doubles the life of your dropouts, which is a really, really good move on North, so shout out to you guys. The North Willow deck does have three degrees of concave. What concave does is it creates more comfort for a lot of riders, gives them a little bit more grip and feel on the deck. Some decks have no concave, the Willow deck has three degrees, and I think it's gonna create a really comfortable feeling when riding this deck. Spec wise, that's pretty much it for the Willow deck. If we take a look at it, obviously it is a fairly simple looking deck. It doesn't have any crazy shaped head tubes and stuff like that, but there are a couple things that really make it stand out. There is this cutout here on the top of the deck. That right there is gonna produce a little bit of weight. And when you land really hard and force is pulling the head tube back, this right here is gonna create a nice little area for the weight to disperse and the force to disperse, which is gonna help prevent the deck from actually cracking at the top of the head tube, which is pretty sweet. Moving on to the bottom, this is where you guys can see the North Scooters Willow graphic. North does a really, really good job with their graphics and this one is no different. The Willow graphic is really, really sweet, stands out. Um, heavily and you're definitely not gonna mistake this for anybody else's deck. This is actually a really cool test that I haven't seen on anybody else's decks in a while. The size of the deck is actually stamped into the bottom of the deck. So you can see six by 22.5 is literally stamped into the bottom of the deck. So just in case you forgot what size your deck is or your friends don't believe you, you have it right here to prove it. So that's pretty cool. All right, the Willow deck comes in at four pounds, 6.4 ounces, so just over four and a half pounds, and uh, once again, fairly light for a deck that is six by 22.5. All right, so let's talk about color. Uh, currently, I'm holding the translucent orange colorway. This one is pretty sweet. You can actually see the um, texture of the material through the deck here on the top, which is pretty sweet. That's where the translucent comes in, but not a lot of orange out there as well, and this deck is very loud and unique, so if you guys wanna ride something different than everybody else, this, uh, this deck's gonna get the job done, but, Translucent orange is a pretty sweet option. This right here is the translucent green colorway. Not throwing any shame at North, but I will say when it comes to their colors, they've been a little bit weird lately. They did release a fork and I believe an SCS in this color a few months back and they actually called it Jade, but this exact color is honestly more of a sea foam. At least in my mind, this is more of a sea foam, but either way, it's a very, very sick color. And if you guys are looking to buy one, it is under trans green. Just in case you guys are having a hard time finding it, it is under the trans green colorway. But it is a super, super unique color. It's almost like a Tiffany blue. It is pretty sweet. The yellow on the graphic really, really pops against this, uh, this green colorway, which I really like. And honestly, out of the rest of the colors, this one's probably my favorite. Next up is raw. When it comes to the raw one, there's not really anything on here. It is just 
pretty much raw aluminum. However, it does still have the graphic on the bottom, which looks pretty sweet on the raw as well. And last but not least, we have matte black. Everybody's favorite color. This one still has the gold dropout, just like the rest of the deck, and has the Willow graphic, loud and proud on the bottom. The deck is actually matte, and the graphic is gloss black, so that's how you can still see it on the deck, otherwise you wouldn't have any luck. I think that is a really cool design option with everybody in North. Adding the gloss graphic on the matte black deck is a really cool way to allow it to be seen, but it is still pretty sleek and discreet and uh, minimal because not everybody wants a super loud graphic on the bottom of their deck. And if you are one of those people that doesn't like loud, flashy graphics, this is definitely the one for you. Moving on to another new deck from North. This right here probably looks like a Horizon deck and it, it is a Horizon deck. However, this is the Horizon team deck. What that means, I don't really know. I don't know why it's called the team deck, but it's called the team deck and it's pretty sweet. So let's talk about it. This right here is a North Horizon deck. As you can see, it has all the normal things that a Horizon deck has. So it says North here in cursive on the top of the head tube. Very nice touch. It has the very unique cutout head tube like the Horizon decks have, very nice touch. And this deck actually only comes in black with black dropout. So it is as sleek and dark night vibey as you can get. Like this is it, it's black on black, like matte black on matte black. It's pretty sweet though. We should do a dark night custom build. You guys wanna see it? Dark Knight custom build, which is an all black scooter. What if we do a Dark Knight custom build, but we do like, we, we get the whole scooter painted in like the world's darkest black colorway. Huh? But either way, this is a black on black North Horizon deck that does come in two sizes. Before I show you guys the graphic, let's talk about specs. You have the choice between 5.8 by 21.75 inches long or 5.8 by 22.75 inches long. When it comes to the 6.2 inch team deck, you can choose 6.2 by 22.5 inches long or 6.2 by 23 inches long. The Horizon deck has an 83.5 degree head tube angle it does also have three degrees of concave, just like the Willow deck. It can fit 120 millimeter wheels by 24 millimeter or 30 millimeter wide wheels, just like the Willow deck. And yes, it does come with spacers included. You can ride any fender of your choice for the most part, pretty much any fender that mounts on the top. And finally, we gotta talk about weight because I know a lot of you guys wanna know. I actually can't find how much this deck weighs online, but I do have a 6.2 variant here, and this is the 23 inch long one. So I'm gonna weigh this one. This is the largest of the Horizon team decks. I don't wanna go inside and grab a 5.8, so let's just take an educated guess, but let's see how much the 6.2 by 23 weighs. Okay, so the 6.2 by 23 inch North Horizon team deck weighs four pounds, 15.6 ounces. So it is right under five pounds. What that means is the 6.2 by 22.5 probably weighs four pounds, 12 ounces, somewhere around that range. And then the 5.8 variant weighs somewhere around four pounds, seven ounces, maybe four pounds, five ounces, if I had to take an educated guess. If I wasn't lazy, I'd run in and grab one, but I am, so that's all you guys get. Moving on. Before I go, this is the graphic of the team deck. It's got all these really cool North logos and doodles and stuff that tie into the brand. All over the deck, you have like a Bart Simpson. Look at like here, you got popcorn, you got a house, a scooter with a snake going all over it. You got Alberta, because they're from Canada, eh? A lot of stuff. It's a really cool deck and it's a really cool graphic. This is another deck that you could definitely hang on your wall if you have other ones to, uh, to put next to it and it'll look really, really cool in your living room or bedroom as a piece of art. So moving on to the next North product. It's actually not a new one, it's just a new colorway and that colorway is for the Amber Fork and the Nada Fork. So this right here is the Trans Orange colorway in the North Nada Fork and the North Amber Fork. This colorway is supposed to tie into the orange of the Willow deck. Um, it's a little bit more copper in my mind. It doesn't match the deck perfectly. Let me actually grab the deck to show you guys exactly. So here is the Translucent Orange Willow deck that we just talked about. And here is the Translucent Orange Nada Fork. I'll even slide it on in here so you guys can see. Don't get me wrong, so it looks really, really sweet. However, it's just not the same exact color, but still a pretty sweet one. I'm not gonna go over the specs for the Nada Fork and the Amber Fork, because like I said, we already mentioned that in a previous episode. So if you guys wanna check that out, the link will be right above. But 
These are very sleek forks and a really sick colorway. The North Profile SCS that came out last year is actually available in this color as well. We'll take a look at that in a sec, but you can buy a matching set. You can get the fork and the clamp in the same color. So if you're a fan of this copper light color, you can definitely rock it on your scooter and you'll have a clamp to match. Moving on, like I just mentioned, the North Profile SCS. This was recently released. We covered this in a previous episode as well, but this is the trans orange colorway in their SCS. As you can tell, it matches the fork perfectly. So obviously you can match this with the fork and it'll be a really nice touch, but this is North's latest and greatest version of their SCS clamp. It's pretty sweet, it's pretty slick. It does fit both oversized and standard bars. It has M6 compression bolts and the whole nine yards when it comes to a clamp. The only difference is now it's available in a few new colors. So let's take a look at the rest. This was the translucent orange. Here we have the yellow, never go wrong with yellow. And finally we have jade. So this jade matches the trans green willow deck perfectly. So why they decided to call it trans green, it's beyond me. But this clamp will match the trans green willow deck perfectly just in case anybody at home watching wants to combine the two, just know it'll match perfectly. Those are the three new colors in the Profile SCS. Well, let's take a look at the two new colors available in the Profile Double Clamp. We did also cover the North Profile Double Clamp in another video, so once again, I'm not gonna dive into all the specs, but this is their oversized double clamp that does come with a shim, so you guys can ride standard size bars, but now available in not only the yellow, but also the jade. The Profile Double Clamp is now available in yellow and jade, so if you guys have any of these colors on your scooter, you guys should definitely pick one of these up and uh, get your setup looking fresher than ever. Tips. So moving on to the last North product in today's video, this is the North Scooters Campus T-Bar. This is the first aftermarket T-Bar that I've seen from North in quite a while, if not ever, but they finally entered the T-Bar game and now they have a cost-efficient steel T-Bar for you guys to buy. This is just your standard 4130 Chromali T-Bar that comes 24 inches wide by 28 inches tall. It is standard and it does not come with a slit. So it is standard without a slit, which means you're good to ride SCS compression straight out of the box. If you do want to ride IHC compression, you're going to have to go ahead and get a slit cut, but after that, you're good to go. Of course, we got to weigh the Campus T-Bar, because I know you guys want to know how much it weighs. Actually, will it stand up? Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Oh, it stands up. All right, so Campus T-Bar weighs two pounds, 14.2 ounces, so just under three pounds, which is honestly pretty spot on for a 4130 Chromali T-Bar at this size. It's pretty much similar to what an Affinity Bar would weigh or even some of the Ethic Bars. Other than that, there's not much to talk about. It has this really cool North sticker here at the top and uh, this is the translucent orange colorway as well. So this is gonna match all the other orange parts. And since it is translucent, you can actually see the heat marks that's on the steel from when they were welded, which is pretty cool. So it does come in a couple other colors, so let's check that out. Moving on, this is the matte black colorway. Nothing too different from the trans orange, it's just matte black with the same North sticker here. Same specs, same size, same weight, everything is the same. And last but not least, we have the raw colorway. The only difference between the raw and the other two is the sticker on the raw is actually white. I think it stands out just a little bit more on the raw and definitely a nice touch. But if you guys are a fan of North scooters and you're in need of some new bars, you guys should definitely take a peek at the Campus T-Bar. Link will be down below as well. So we also have some new wheels from North. So let's take a peek at those. The first one is gonna be the John Deb signature wheel. If you guys are a fan of John Deb, if you guys know anything about him, a lot of his signature parts and a lot of the things that he's done have been this olive or army green. He did have an army green colorway with Affinity and now he has an army green colorway with North. And this wheel looks really, really sweet. I love that the pad print gives it that white wall look that a lot of older cars would have. It's definitely a nice touch and it contrasts with the black and the green beautifully. So that was a really, really nice touch. But as far as design goes, this is just a full core wheel. This one here is 110 millimeters by 24 millimeters. It does also come in a 115 by 30 wide. So if you guys wanna ride a little bit bigger of a wheel, this one does come in that option as well. If you look at the urethane, it just says North here in cursive. It says 124 millimeter on the side as well. On the core itself, you have a couple graphics here. These graphics that are etched into the core are actually the same exact ones that were on the top of his last SIG deck, which are pretty sweet, but they're just in white here. But I like how he's tying in the graphics from his SIG deck to his SIG wheel. And last but not least, it has his last name, John Devrend. That is his last name, that's why we call him John Dev. But that is here as well, just to tie into his signature product. It's honestly one of the coolest wheels that I've seen in a long time. And I back John Dev, and you guys should too. How much does the John Dev wheel weigh? Drop your guess in the comment below. Nine ounces, exactly. It's pretty light. 
That means that two of these wheels would weigh just over a pound. Yeah, that's how that works. Moving on to the next wheel, we have a Trinity North Collab. If you guys don't know who Trinity is, Trinity is the company that makes those really, really cool fenders that look like spoilers that would go on the back of a Honda or something like that. They're pretty sweet. We've talked about them a lot in the past. However, they um, have expanded to pretty much a full range of parts. They have forks, they have clamps, they have headsets, they got wheels, they got everything. And since they are a Canadian based company and so is North, they uh, decided to collab and make this pretty sweet wheel. This is the same exact wheel as the John Dev wheel. However, this one has the gray urethane on the black core and uh, I'm absolutely in love with it. I love the way these colors work with each other and the slight red on the urethane just ties in beautifully. Uh, taking a look at the graphic here, it does have the Canadian maple leaf here tying into the origin of both companies. It says North X Trinity in cursive beautifully, just like the John Dev wheel, since this one tells you what size it is, 110 by 24 millimeters. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really know exactly what the core design is, but it's pretty sweet, so I'm gonna tell you. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty sweet. Just look at that beautiful wheel. Beautiful. I absolutely love seeing other brands work together. We've done a lot of work with other brands and uh, I'm really hyped to see the North Trinity collab. So shout out to you guys, and if you guys are interested in buying any of these wheels or the John Dev wheels, make sure you guys cop a pair before they're gone forever. Oh, weight-wise, it's gonna weigh the same as this wheel. So this wheel weighs the same as this wheel, just in case you guys were wondering. So now that we finished up taking a look at all the new North product, let's take a look at a new colorway from the boys over at Affinity. Look at this, it's Peach. Not like that character from Mario Kart and not like the emoji that you guys like to use that means something else. I'm talking about the fruit, the color, and it's beautiful. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. If you guys don't know anything about Affinity, I'll give you a quick rundown. Affinity is owned by Chris Cascoigne and John Radke, two people who pretty much came up in the scooter scene when they rode for Razor. They are the definition of OGs and they are still relevant in this scene because they started their very own bar company called Affinity. They source all the material themselves and hand weld the bars here in the USA. So these bars right here are still one of the only products that you can get today in the scooter industry that are made in the United States. That's pretty sweet. Not only do they hand weld these bars themselves, they also powder coat them all themselves. And let me tell you, they got a pretty wide range of colors, so they constantly release new limited edition colors, and peach right here is one of those colors. These won't be around for terribly long. If you guys want a pair of the peach bars, I highly recommend you guys get them now, because once they're gone, who knows when they're coming back. And you're supporting two dudes that have been in the scooter industry for a very long time. Who doesn't love American-made product, am I right? Oh yeah, those bad boys come 28 inches tall by 24 inches wide, standard or oversized, 4130 Kamali steel made in the US. That's all you need to know about them. All right, so moving on, we do have three new wheels from Fusion, two of them being SIG wheels, one of them being a new colorway and a wheel they've already had. First one up is going to be the Fusion Isaiah Sam's signature wheel. So, I don't think we've covered these. I definitely don't think we have. This wheel was recently released by Fusion and it is obviously their team rider, Isaiah Sam's signature. It is just your normal hollow core wheel. However, it has a very unique urethane and a really unique core design. The urethane is a black and clear swirl urethane. So it is actually transparent, but you can see these black swirls going through it which is definitely unique and definitely cool. The core design actually has a line walking around in the open with the tree and stuff like that. If I had to guess, it ties into you know his origin, maybe where he came from, but it's giving me Lion King vibes and who doesn't love the Lion King? It is a very unique graphic and I absolutely love it. The reflective gold ties into the urethane color nicely and definitely stands out as a unique wheel that you're not gonna see on everybody's scooter, so. I definitely like riding unique parts and you guys should definitely take a peek at these. Spec wise, this is 110 millimeter by 24 millimeter. It does come with pre-installed bearings, just like most wheels today. And when it comes to weight, you're looking at just over a pound for the both of them. Pretty much any full core wheel is gonna weigh roughly half a pound a wheel. Um, even some hollow cores can weigh similar. So in case you guys are wondering, a pair of these bad boys weighs just over a pound. All right, moving on to the next SIG wheel. It's gonna be the Alexandra Madsen signature wheel. Sorry if I mispronounced it. But this is her signature wheel, and this is honestly one of the most loud, unique scooter wheels out there, and I back it. It also has a tie-dye urethane. However, this one isn't clear. This one is baby blue with dark blue and some white, and it is very swirly and looks like a milkshake, and I'm really hungry. But either way, it ties in to her very unique core design. I don't exactly know what it is, 
off the top of my head, I should have done some research, but you got the eyes, you got the mandala, you got all the colors tying into the Fusion logo here underneath the bearing. And this is one of the coolest signature wheels that has ever come out in scootering in my opinion. There's not a lot of female scooter riders out there, which is a bummer. I'm hoping to see more get out there. And to see one actually make it to the point of getting a signature product is awesome. And I'm really hoping this right here gets more people riding and more girls riding because we need it. Just like Isaiah's wheel, Alexandra's is 110 by 24 millimeters, weighs just over a pound for the set and comes with pre-installed bearings. So you're good to go straight out of the box. Moving on to the last Fusion wheel in today's video, this is gonna be a new colorway in the Fusion Flight wheels. This is black smoke. So it's got a similar urethane to Isaiah's with the clear and black urethane. However, the black is a little bit more of a gray, so it kind of looks like the urethane is smoky. With the white pad print, the smoke definitely stands out a lot more. It's got the black Fusion Flight core here, just like all the other ones. And this is a really, really cool wheel. This was actually used on an upcoming custom build that you guys will see soon, and I think it really, really really does pop on a lot of other colors. If you have a scooter that has a ton of color in the deck, maybe the bar, throwing on this neutral wheel really, really does tone it down. But the smoky urethane still gives it a little bit of spark and a little bit of spice that makes it look a little bit more unique. The flight wheels are 110 by 24 millimeter as well. All the wheels obviously come with bearings just like the SIG wheels. And when it comes to weight, you're looking at just under a pound. These actually weigh a little bit lighter than the full cores, but just over a pound for the pair. And they're backed by Fusion's awesome warranty. So if you guys are interested in some wheels, you guys should definitely take a peek at these. So that is gonna be it for the Fusion wheels let's move on to the final products in today's video and probably the ones that I'm the most excited for because they're vault related products. Am I biased? Absolutely. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. All right moving into the first vault product in today's video this is going to be the vault corduroy dad hat. This is something that I've wanted to do for a while and I'm really excited that it's here today. If you guys don't know I wore dad hats for a very long time I still wear them here and there but I always wanted a corduroy dad hat and there's not a lot out there, they're super expensive, so I wanted to create a fairly cost-efficient option for you guys out there, and a cool way to rep the vault that doesn't scream scooters. Problem is, a lot of scooter apparel just screams scooters, and there's definitely a market for that, but personally, I favor more to the scooter apparel that doesn't scream we're a scooter shop. I like something a little bit more discreet that I can wear pretty much anywhere that any skater, biker, dad, mom can look at it and just say, that's a really cool shirt, and it doesn't scream I'm a scooter rider. This hat here, saying the vault, embroidered in the old English font. I think it really does do that perfectly. You could wear this pretty much anywhere, and I don't think anybody is gonna identify it as a scooter brand hat, and I definitely like that. This is obviously black corduroy, so you guys can see all the lines going through it, which I really, really do like. Moving on to the back, you can see there's also a vault logo embroidered here on the back left. It is obviously adjustable, so you guys can adjust it to whatever size your head is, and uh, that's pretty much it. One size fits all. You guys can throw this bad boy on, wrap the vault wherever you go, and uh, if you're a dad, buy one. If you're a little brother, you should buy one. If you're a mom, you should buy one. You guys should just buy one. They're only like 13 bucks too. So compared to a lot of other dad hats, this guy being only 13 bucks is pretty fire, especially because it's uh, corduroy. Corduroy tends to be more expensive. So we're trying to do you guys a favor and create some cost efficient options here. So you guys should buy one. We have another new hat. This is the TV Simple Logo bucket hat. Nothing too crazy. With summer being here, we wanted to bring in some more bucket hats just so you guys can help keep the sun out of your face and neck when you're out riding. This guy does have the vault logo embroidered, but it actually is a bit of a larger embroidery, so it pops out of the fabric. It's not just in the fabric. We wanted it to pretty much pop out and live on top. We just wanted it so it's a little bit more pronounced and people can see it a little bit better. But this guy will keep the sun out of your eyes. If you're going to the beach, it'll be perfect. And if you're just scootering, it'll be perfect. Bucket hats are somewhat coming back in style and hopefully we can help encourage that. This guy is one size fits all. This is black on white and it also comes in white on black. Uh, this guy will obviously get pretty dirty if you guys are out riding in it, sweating in it. But for a lot of you guys that like to keep your hats nice and clean and you just want something pretty clean to go with the rest of your outfit, maybe going out to a movie or some, hanging out with a girl or a boy, whatever it is, this guy's gonna get the job done. So if you guys are in the need of some bucket hats, dad hats, or some scooter parts, you guys know where to buy them. And uh, at this point, it's pretty much the end of the video. We pretty much covered everything that I pulled for the video. And it's crazy to think that there's a lot more product dropping very soon. So we're gonna have to film another one of these 
probably next week, and I'm super excited. So, like I said, that is gonna be it for this episode of What's New in Scootering. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed to our channel already, I highly encourage it. We pump out some of the best scooter content on the internet. If you guys click that little bell right next to subscribe, you can pretty much click that bell and it'll turn notifications on so you're notified every single time we upload. That makes it so you guys don't miss an upload. So if you guys wanna see the next episode of What's New in Scootering, it won't slide to your sub box and fly right by. You'll be notified every single time we upload and you'll be part of the notification squad and be able to comment first on the video like everybody else does. Make sure to shop thevaultproscooters.com for any of your scooter needs. Give us a call, give us a holler, shoot us an email if you have any questions. And until the next video, have a good one, and I'll see you then.